हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल योर फिजिक्स मेट वेल आवर टूडेज वीडियो इज़ गोइंग टू बी ऑन सम प्रॉब्लम्स अबाउट क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स एंड स्पेशली टूडेज प्रॉब्लम्स विल बी ऑन रोटेशनल डायनामिक्स एंड दिस वीडियो विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर दोज हु आर गोइंग टू गिव द एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ आई आई टी जैम गेट सेट सी एस आई आर नेट और एनी काइंड ऑफ अदर कंपिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशंस so i think you will find today's video helpful and if you find so please don't forget to like this video share this video with your friends and please subscribe to my channel and uh, your subscription gives me enthu to do more videos in further days so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so yeah without a further delay let's get start hello everyone welcome to my channel your physics mate well in today's video i will discuss about some problems related to classical mechanics and basically today's topic is rotational dynamics so without a further delay let's discuss the first problem given here the problem is a particle of mass 2 kg is at position 2 minus 2 1 which moves with velocity minus i cap plus 2 j cap minus k cap meter per second find the angular momentum of the particle okay so the mass is given and the position is given and also the velocity is given and you have to find the angular momentum of that particle now what is the angular momentum basically angular momentum is defined by l which is equal to r that is the position vector cross p p is the linear momentum and we know this equation we all know about this equation so in this question we have to apply this to find the value of angular momentum of that particle okay so in the question it is given that the position that is r is given here right my 2 minus 2 1 That is r vector is equal to two i cap minus two j cap plus one k cap. That is basically k cap. Okay, from this I am just putting the values of the coefficients of i cap is two from here. Coefficient of j cap is minus two from here, and coefficient of k cap is one from here. So I am just putting the position coordinate of the uh, particle. okay the mass of the particle m is given as 2 kg okay so what is basically the linear momentum we know linear momentum p is equal to m p right where p is the linear momentum is equal to mass into velocity so velocity is given in the question the particle is moving with velocity minus i cap plus 2j cap minus k cap so we just need to put it here m v m is 2 kg into and all these are going in uh, given in kg and meter per second that is in si so we need not to convert them in any other system so 2 into in place of v we need to put minus i cap plus 2j cap minus k cap okay so this is basically the amount of linear momentum which is minus 2 i cap plus 4j cap minus 2k cap so we found the value of p with the help of m and v which are given in the question above so p now we know p and we know r okay we know the value of r and the value of p so just put it here in this equation l is equal to r cross p to find the value of angular momentum so let's do it okay so l is equal to r cross p as this is a cross term we can put it in a matrix format that is i cap j cap k cap r cross p so we need to put the coefficients of i j k here in place of r we need to put the coefficients of i cap which is 2 j 
j cap minus 2 and k cap is 1 for r and for p r cross p for p the coefficients of i cap is minus 2 coefficient of j cap is 4 and coefficient of k cap is minus 2 so from here the value of angular momentum becomes i cap into for i cap we have uh, 4 minus 4 minus j cap for j cap it is for j cap it is this one and then this one okay for j cap we get minus 4 minus sorry minus 4 minus of minus 2 that is plus 2 and for k cap for k cap it is given by for k cap it is firstly this one and then do this one that is firstly plus k cap into it's 8 minus plus 4 that is 8 minus 4 so we got the value of minus 2 and here is also a minus we got plus 2 2 j cap and from here we get a plus 4 k cap so this is the value of angular momentum the value of angular momentum is L vector equal to 2j cap plus 4k cap. So this one is the answer. And if you are uh, given a question that uh, find the value of angular momentum in x, y and z axis, then you will just have to write the coefficients there. That is the coefficient of i cap here is 0 because here, as here is no coefficient of i cap, we have a 0 i cap here, right? So, if, if the question is like somehow that give the value of angular momentum in x, y, z direction, then you need to write it as L x is equal to 0, L y is equal to 2 and L z is equal to 4. That is the value of angular momentum along x direction is 0, the angular momentum uh, along y direction is 2 and the angular momentum along z direction is 4. If it is given in question in this scenario. And if not, the answer is given before. Okay. Now, the second question is, when a body rolls down an inclined plane at angle theta, find the velocity and acceleration on reaching the bottom, where h is the height of the inclined plane and k is the radius of gyration, r is the radius of the rolling body. So, what are been given here? Just first of all, draw the picture. Here it is an inclined plane, okay. This one is an inclined plane. This is given as theta. Okay, so the inclined plane at an angle theta, body rolls down along the inclined plane. So here is the body suppose. And it is rolling down, right? It is rolling down. Uh, we have to found the velocity and acceleration that is v and a we have to find the velocity and acceleration of that particle or the of the body after reaching at the bottom and h is the height of the inclined plane so this one is h the height of the inclined plane is h and uh, the radius of gyration of the body is k that is if the i is the moment of inertia of that body and if m is the mass of that body then if k is the radius of gyration, then moment of inertia of that body will be m into k square, right? Where k is the radius of gyration of the body and m is the mass of that body. We know that. Okay. If you don't know what is moment of inertia, please write in the comment section below. I will definitely do a video on that. Okay. Uh, so, here I am not just uh, going to elaborate that. I am just going to do the problem. So, r is the radius of that rolling body. If r is the radius of that rolling body, okay, h is the height of the inclined plane, theta is the angle of that inclined plane and i is the moment of inertia given by mk square where k is the radius of gyration of the inclined plane, okay. Uh, so, now 
we need to find the amount of uh, velocity and acceleration when the body reaches the bottom. So here we have to apply the conservation of energy principle. When the body was here, suppose we are take, taking this point as A and when the body comes here after rolling down, suppose body comes here, suppose this point is B, okay. So at this point, the energy was a potential energy. At point A, the energy was fully potential energy, right? So EA is equal to EB, that is the energy at the point B. The energy, the amount of total mechanical energy at point A should be equal to the amount of total mechanical energy at point B, where B is the bottom point, okay? So at the point A, the total energy was potential energy and the potential energy at point A should be equal to m g h okay and now at point B there should be the energy should be kinetic energy but this kinetic energy has two values or two types of kinetic energies are imparted in the body at point B what are they one of them is translational kinetic energy which is half mv square we don't know the value of velocity and we need to find it in the question it is given that we need to find the amount of velocity when it reaches the bottom so from here we can find the value of v which is the amount of velocity plus here in this body as the body is not just not just has a translational motion it is also rotating like right like uh, suppose this body this is rotating plus it is moving right so this body is rolling and having a translational motion also so the amount of kinetic energy has two parts one of them is half mv square which is translational kinetic energy and one part will be a rotational kinetic energy that is half i omega square where i is the moment of inertia of that body and omega is the angular velocity of the body now what is omega and what is v basically the relation between v and omega is v equal to r omega where r is the radius of the body, omega is the angular momentum of angular velocity of the body and v is the linear velocity of the body. So, in place of omega, we can write v by r. So, we will write it here in the equation. So, mgh should be equal to half mv square plus half. In place of i, we can write this one mk square, right? So, in place of i, we are putting m k square into, in place of omega, we can write v by r. So, we are write v by r square, okay. So, from here, we got m g h equal to, we are taking a common of half m v square. So, in the bracket, we have 1 plus, from here, we can write it is k square by r square as we are taking a common, common of half m v square. So, we need to find the value of v square. So, v square is equal to, mm cancels out. So, it's a 2 g h divided by 1 plus k square by r square. It is the value of v square. So, if you need to find the value of velocity, we need to give a root over here. So, v is equal to root over 2gh divided by 1 plus k square by r square. So, the question was what is the amount of velocity on reaching the bottom? The amount of velocity on reaching the bottom is this one root over 2gh by 1 plus k square by r square. Okay. Now, the second part is what is the amount of acceleration on reaching the bottom? The amount of acceleration on reaching the bottom. So here we need to apply the equation from kinematics that is v square equals to u square plus 2as. 
where v is the final velocity, u is the initial velocity, a is the acceleration and s is the amount of distance covered by that particle. Here, as the body was rolling down from a rest position here, a, and comes down to a point b, so the initial velocity u was obviously 0. So in this equation, we can write u as 0. So we get v square is equal to 2as. Now we need to find the value of acceleration that is the amount of a. We need to find a from here. So we get an equation of a is equal to v square by 2s. Now what is s? We need to find the value of s. And we already have found the value of v square from here. Okay. So in place of s, we need to find the value of this displacement. Okay. Now, <coughs> as we uh, can from the figure, we just can write it out as this one is s. Right. This portion, this distance from A, starting from A to B, this portion or the amount of the, uh, the amount of the inclined plane or the distance between A to B is S, right? H is the height of the inclined plane and S is the amount starting from A to B, that is the uh, hypotenuse of this right, right angular, uh, you know, triangle. Okay, so from this equation, H is the height and S is the amount of distance between A to B. Then from this right angular tri triangle, we can write sine theta is equal to h divided by s. Okay. So, from here, sine theta is equal to h divided by s. That means s is equal to h by sine theta. And we need to write it here. In place of s, we can write h by sine theta. That is v square sine theta by 2h. And now, in place of v square, we can write this one root over of 2gh, uh, we need not to do the root over because we need to have the value of v square that is 2gh by 1 plus k square plus r square that is v square 2gh divided by 1 plus k square by r square in place of v square we are putting the value of this one okay so into sine theta divided by 2h so 2h 2h cancels out and we get the value of a as g sine theta divided by 1 plus k square by r square so this was the question what is the amount of velocity and amount of acceleration at the bottom and we got the answer from here right at the bottom, the amount of velocity and acceleration. This one is one answer, answer number one. And this one is the second answer, answer number two. I think you got this video helpful. And if you find so, please don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. And please subscribe to my channel to have more videos like this. And if you have any kind of uh, queries regarding this, you can write that in the comment section below. Thank you.